Do restaurants' dishes taste the same as their frozen versions you make at home? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Today we're shake, shake, shaking our booties at the butt disco and guessing the original extremely unhappy endings to popular fairy tales. Mm -hmm. But first, have you ever wandered through the grocery store and noticed that they have a lot of your favorite restaurant appetizers mm. in the frozen section? Yeah, but do they have the same magical taste at home as they do in the restaurant? I don't know, let's find out. It's time for, was this food made by a restaurant chef or sold in a grocery store by a guy named Jeff? I love Jeff, he's great. Mm -hmm. All right, this is how it's gonna work. We're gonna have two identical meals placed in front of us. One dish came from the actual restaurant it was prepared there. The other dish will be from the grocery store version that the restaurant sells in the frozen section that was prepared here or could be prepared by you at home. Wow, you just made it more complicated than it actually is. Really? One's from the restaurant, one's from the grocery store. You could yeah. have just said that. We're going to uh, select which one is from the actual restaurant mm -hmm. with this nice little credit card holder. And of course, the person who gets the most ones right wins a special restaurant theme surprise. Nice. Arby's curly fries. Hmm. I didn't know you could get these in the store. Did you it, know about the yeah, frozen ones? In a big frozen bag. Probably missing out. Let's eat off of this one first. When you cook out of the bag, do you refry them or do you just bake them? I think you could do either, right? You know? Uh, the bag recommends to bake, so we yeah. bake. Okay. Hmm. So you, so they're already fried, and then you just. Heat them up in the oven at home. Now there's a distinct color difference. You notice that? These are darker. These are more vibrant. That's, you know, a, that's a good curly fry. Anything, they're vibrant. And I'm picking out a tight curly from each one. Me too. Wow, holy moly, they're very different. I was actually thinking they weren't that different. These are a little more crunchy. No, they taste different. But I don't know which one tastes like what. They taste the exact same to me, man. No, oh, there's a big difference in taste, but I don't know which one's more frozen tasting. These taste better to Those me. Those taste better. Which is why I'm voting for these as yeah. from the store. These have a milliness. Not from the bag. These have a milliness that it, felt, it feels like it's gone through some sort of transformation. Now they're process. not horrible though. All right. We agree, are we right, Stevie? The restaurant fries are on Rhett's side. <laughs> <laughs> How is that possible? Arby's, I don't know what to say. Okay, now we've got the Panera Bread Broccoli Cheddar Soup, which you can get inside a bread bowl. You ever done that? Whew, you have not lived if you have not done that, my friend. But, <laughs> but this is just glass, not bread. Every time I go to Panera, oh, I'm miserable. Make, hold on, they make a different sound. Maybe, that's a clue. Do it. Jaws. Um, hmm. <laughs> that was amazing. How, what are the chances that we just made the Jaws theme with two bowls of broccoli cheddar soup? I mean, psh, we've just peaked. We should quit right now. Yep. All right. I'm still gonna sit here though, because. Oh, let's try this one first. This is pretty great, me. All right, you're back, I can talk to you now. Are you still making the show? Yeah, I, I, I didn't think that was a legit peak. Uh, it, was just a, it was just a nice little. Uh, I quit for a little bit, it felt great. <laughs> I'll uh, tell you right now. Uh, warning, it's very celery forward. This is the one you tried first? Yeah, try it. Celery forward, huh? Yeah. Isn't it? I would call it broccoli forward. Oh, is that what that tastes like? Yeah. <laughs> and then let's taste this one. I, well, I didn't get any broccoli in that other bite. They look identical. And they taste identical. Again, I don't agree. Really? I don't know which one I like more, but they taste different. Well, what do you think is different about them? This one has like a, um, if I were to describe it as a musical note, not just because we just played a musical note, ironically. It's the same now. What? No. No. This one tastes high. Hold on, I felt like we were about to peak that time. <laughs> Hold on, this one ironically tastes higher, and this one tastes lower. You know how some things have a higher taste, like a more acidic taste, and some yeah. have a basier taste? 
that's actually what's happening right now, but they're making the opposite notes and so my mind is blown. I think uh, the only difference I can discern is that the broccoli's a little firmer in this one. I'm going, makes rest, me, I'm going oh, restaurant on this one. You know one. what, I'm gonna differentiate myself, I'm gonna change my vote. Okay, that's a strategy. It might work because I'm kinda guessing. Okay, the restaurant soup is on red side. Oh! Yeah, see? Yeah, okay. But Panera did a good job of freezing up this, yeah. this bowl I of stuff. I actually preferred the taste Indiscernible of this to me. Tata skins from the Fridays. Now, I, without even tasting these, I, I just blind guess these are for the frozen ones or these are from the restaurant. Just because the process that leads to bacon distribution and the factory, and this is just Dwight, who works at TGI Fridays, just making a decision. Oh, Maybe so having Jeff, a bad day. That's Jeff and this Jeff is Dwight. And Dwight. Now, because this one has a lot more bacon, it's just another way that I'm interpreting this. Bacon. Right, it's part of the process. There's a, and it's the same amount of bacon on each one because it's a machine. It's not Jeff, Jeff is just selling them to us. That tastes good, really tasty. Really tasty. Really, really tasty. <laughs> not as much bacon, it seems. Mm. Oh, this is obvious. Yeah. And Even, that, this is so much more potatoey tasting, it just tastes fresher. The potato itself. So they're compensating with more bacon and cheese which let me tell you. And they're doing a good job of it. I actually think it's better, but I can tell this is from the store. You think this is you better? You mean the restaurant. The restaurant. <laughs> because they're both stores. True. Yeah. Okay, the restaurant skins are on Link's side. Yes, okay. we got it. But right. I recommend these they from are good. the grocery store. I'll eat another one right now. Now we've got Chili's Cajun Chicken Pasta. And newsflash, <laughs> they use different pasta. Look at that. They what? got, is that penne? Is that the correct name for this one? Penne, yes, that penne is correct. Penne pasta. And then what's the other one? What's that? What's shells. They look like shells. That's you know? a curly cue. What do you call that? What's a the official pigtail. name of that? Mm, I think it's like a derivative of, of fusilli, but I can't really see a that. A derivative well. of fusilli. Cavatappi, sorry. Papatappi? Cavatappi. Cavatappi. Just like that, yeah. Papatappi? Yep, that's Cava the one. Cavatappi. Now, you've already eaten this, huh? I've yeah. never ordered this in the store. The, the restaurant. <laughs> Mm. This tastes really good. Yep. Now, what is the philosophy behind changing the pasta? Is it so you know that you got the frozen one? So, I don't know the answer to that. I'm not Mr. Chili. <laughs> it tastes completely different, too. Nothing like it. Ooh, it's, it's, it's um, super spicy. It's really spicy. It's not the same thing in any way. And we're sure this is, this is what they, they sell it as the same thing. They're calling it Cajun chicken pasta. That's correct. Well, yeah, this is this has got to be the restaurant, yeah. right? I just think because there's the the flavor intensity on this is sorry is so high Whoop. that it just feels like more of a processed thing. And this again, this mm -hmm. feels like Dwight threw it together last minute. <laughs> this is like a t restaurant. this is like a TV dinner type situation. Yeah, right. Are we correct? Okay, the restaurant pasta is on Link's side. Yes. Yeah, don't go for that, Chili's. You need to revamp. You need to re-examine yourself. Well, it's not bad. I'm still gonna eat it. <laughs> Beef and broccoli from P.F. Chang's. And what a store. Yeah, it's a great store. <laughs> now this one is juicier looking. Yeah. This one's a little dry looking. Now I, all, right off the bat, I would say that this is from uh, the freezer section because of the lack of juice, but you know, when they sell a, a, a Chinese food item at the store, they give you a packet of sauce that you like warm up and pour over the food a lot of times. So that makes me think that that might be why it's more juicy. Or it might have more preservatives. Let's see if it tastes better. It tastes better because of all the sauce. Mm-hmm. But the sauce is kind of like gravy in not a good way. It's gravy-ish. I'm kind of going out on a limb here, and I'm going restaurant on this side because of my juice packet theory. <laughs> it's not the first or the last time I'll use my juice packet theory. <laughs> Solved a lot of my own personal problems with that. You're right, the consistency of this is better, but I, I'm 100% sure that this is the restaurant. Oh, 100%? Yeah. Okay, fine, the beef and broccoli from the restaurant's on red side. Yes. This isn't bad, though. I'm not gonna not recommend it. I'm just not gonna not gonna not recommend it. Right, mm-hmm. 
Yes. All right, we got California Pizza Kitchen gluten free barbecue chicken pizza. Oh, this is gluten free, huh? Yeah, and that's just a game changer. Um, which means they're both going to be bad. Now, there's a distinct difference. I mean, this is like little chopped up ingredients. You know, look at the size of the chicken, look at the size of the onions. We got whole onions here, we got larger pieces of chicken, different kinds of pieces of chicken. Just right off the bat, I test. That's gotta be from the restaurant or the store, as Link calls it. Um, so let's see this one first. It's tasty. It is good. But it can't be as good as this one, right? This one is stacked. It's three times as heavy. If you serve this at the restaurant, you have a riot on your hands. You, you know could, what I'm saying? You could serve this at that, what's that place? CC's. Oh. Remember when we used to go to CC's and like spend three hours there? You can serve anything at CC's. Yeah. You know it's what? an all you can eat pizza buffet. You just go in there and you just rack up. You can just flatten out somebody's flecked off skin <laughs> and people get up there and just take it down. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, and you can't complain because it costs like a dollar ninety nine. Right. <laughs> I mean, it's skin, but it's pizza skin. <laughs> yeah. And I get as much of it as I want. Okay, so I can't win at this point. It's all about pride, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm not gonna guess different just to be different, because that would be wrong. Yeah, you're right. It's totally on Link's side. That's obviously the restaurant version. Yep, but if, you know, and never would you venture to eat these at the same time. And if you, you could trick yourself into thinking this is good if you're home alone, watching reruns of Frasier, you know, just living your best life. That does sound like you a might, good time. You let's, might be kind of happy. Let's with do just that, that tonight. Let's take so these I two win. slices. What, what do I win? Where's Where's my prize? It's right here. Um, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Dink. <laughs> uh, happy birthday to you. Okay. Bye. Happy birthday, Dink. Don't forget to tip your waitress. Eat your ice cream, make a wish, man, you're the winner. How you feel? Like maybe I shouldn't have won. <laughs> okay, all right. Next, see what happens when Link and I take our butts to a butt disco. Eat up with your friends and shirt up with us with this Dink It and Sink It t-shirt available at mythical.store.